Inhale. Exhale. Not trying to fuck shit up. I'm just kidding. No. Um, <laughs> um, that's yeah. kind of um, I wrote my set on a thank you card because that's all I got. Hey. But, yeah, um, that's deep. The, that's deep. the theme for this uh, Sunday jump was tenses. And it kind of fit into my life because I've been talking to some of our elders. Uh, I was on this project to help film interviews from people who lived in the Philippines during martial law. So that was really uh, powerful and it impacted me and made me think a lot. And also talking to my father about growing up in the Philippines. And then I thought about the present day. And am I doing anything impactful? No, I'm just living my best lesbian life. Um, <laughs> I just be, every day feels like Halloween when you strap in. <laughs> you know, um, Halloween is an interesting time. Um, I believe there's no good Halloween songs other than Thriller and Monster Mash. Those are the only two songs I hear in the Halloween stores. And Monster Mash just sounds like a weird orgy on Halloween. <laughs> And like going through the aisles and the Halloween stores, there's not a lot of good costumes for women either. Everything is just super sexualized. Like a sexy ketchup bottle. <laughs> like you want people to go up to you and be like, you squirt? Like no, people are gross. And I just want like more options for us. Cause damn, I don't always want to be a slut. <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of soundtracks, Goosebumps 2, that came out years ago, yeah. but I remember the commercials played Missy Elliott's Get Your Freak On, and that's not a Halloween song, <laughs> Might as well make it like, I don't know, what's a, what's a sexy song? What's your favorite sexy song? Sexy. Pony? Genuine? Yeah, that could be a Halloween song. Um, <laughs> um, I'm sure some of you guys know that Netflix just uploaded something really scary. It starts with a D. Let's all yell it out on three. One, two, three. Disaster. What? I thought some of you were going to say Dahmer. But actually, it's dated and related. And actually, it's not what you think it is. Yeah, because I was on Twitter when the trailer came out, and people were so disappointed that it wasn't about a brother and sister falling in love. And what's wrong with y'all? That's what you want to watch? <sighs> That's like a whole genre on Pornhub now. You ain't got to, like, seek that out. And I don't want to know about it. Damn. Um, we're tired to mention I'm a teacher. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I totally skipped a, a joke. Um, I, I, if I were to do a sexy costume, I want it to be Filipino-themed either, so I want it, it to be called Aswang. Because <laughs> I got that ass. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> um, I guess I'll close it out with a, a true thing that happened to me. So uh, while substitute teaching, the eighth grade boys played a prank on me. I don't know if you guys ever played the game Kahoot with your students. Yeah. 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 So you get to log in and you uh, put your name in and everyone sees it on the screen. And the boys started putting in porn star names like Riley Reed, Asa Akira. Um, <laughs> Lily Tai, yeah. Um, and sorry, I'm wrapping up real quick. Last one. Um, and I had the dilemma, like, oh my god, if I call them out on it, they're going to know that I know who the fuck they are. So I was just like, um, I think our game's going to be getting hacked. So yeah, let's close it up. <laughs> All right, thank you for your time.